set up for a handheld camera shoot on our virtual production stage. Um, we've got a scene involving storage settings and it's going to require a lot of dynamic actor movements. For those of you who aren't familiar with LED virtual production technique, uh, let me give you a quick rundown. LED virtual production technique um, utilizes large LED screens to create immersive and realistic backgrounds. This technique became widely popular during the uh, production of the Magnarian series. Essentially, it allows filmmakers to create expansive, detailed environments without leaving the studio. You might come across cages with LED floors, just like you saw here. Uh, this was the largest Excel studio in Hollywood. I visited this Excel studio while I was in Los Angeles. These stages are capable of doing extended reality productions with augmented reality set extensions, um, and they are also perfect for virtual production. However, LED wall virtual productions are also more popular because uh, they are less complicated and easier on budgets compared to Excel studios with LED floors. Most times, when you come across all of these virtual production stages, you see a lot of cables around, and you know. Sometimes the setup can look um, a bit too complex. So here are some key technical factors to consider when setting up a camera for shooting in virtual production. In this case, uh, we are using the Red Komodo uh, cinema camera, and um, one of the major factors is um, chain log. So chain log basically ensures synchronization between the camera and the virtual production environment. Um, also to ensure synchronized outputs when dealing with multiple computers or GPUs in the LED world. Tracking. Uh, yeah, we use uh, this type of um, tracker to capture real-time physical camera movements along with the um, virtual camera in 3D world. So, um, that's also what controls um, the inner first room and outer first room. If you look on the LED wall, the box view you see is called the inner first room, where our 3D scene is actively reflected. The other parts are called um, outer first room, um, which provides additional environment context and also helps with a bit of backlight um, lighting feel. The whole setup is powered by the Sky's media server and the environment was created using Unreal Engine, delivering a stunning and realistic 3D settings. So basically, the idea here is to make it look like we are filming in a diverse location while being safely stationed in the studio. It's a game changer for filmmakers and audiences alike. So drop your questions and ideas in the comments below. I would love to hear from you.